just says the Cardones are on their way. This is Jeff from a &E saying that the Cardones are on their way. So it's never a good thing when you ask the Cardones to come on your TV show and then you're late to your own TV show. And of course, out of all the lights I could have gotten, I get the most random red light. This Isn't that what happens when you're late? It's like the universe wants to punish you. Hey guys, going over to film with Elena and Grant Cardone for Triple Digit Flip, heading over to the house right now. It's 110 degrees, but we're still gonna knock out and finish the episode that they're in. Then we're immediately going to wrap up filming with a &E and then head over to the Keegley offices. We've got a meetup. I'll see you guys over there in about an hour and a half. This is the hardest part about social media right here, is just the time it takes to post one thing. I'm glad it's I'm glad it's hard because then what happens is it's hard for you guys to compete with me because you guys don't take the time. It's gonna be hot. I bet you this camera is gonna overheat in like two seconds out here. 111 degrees right now. How cool is it that three years ago we were trying to get their attention, couldn't get their attention, but then we went and got a TV show on national television, and now we've got a good friendship with them. You just want to be around people doing stuff, you know? Like they're so busy creating, they don't have time to criticize. They're so busy inspiring people and, and, and doing things, hiring employees, they have hundreds of employees, six billion dollars in assets. How do I get around successful people? How do I get around people doing more than me that inspires me and gives me permission to do more myself? Of course, I get on the freeway and it's a dead stop. Amazing. The Cardones are gonna be there at 5.07 and I'm gonna be there at 5.12, so I'm, I'm the biggest piece of shit of the day. Mm, I think they're probably like prepping them. The Cardones have been there for five minutes. Um, I'm gonna get in trouble. Also, I've, I've learned to control my emotions normally. Like a normal person in this situation would be losing their mind. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm late. And me, 15 years ago, I'd be doing the same thing, like stressing out about being late. Okay, here we go. On set with Triple Digit Flip. I can't wait. So we've looked up to Grant for years and years, right? He's just a guy that has worked his guts out, built a personal brand, inspired people. And that sounds hokey, but you know, for people that are listening and paying attention, like, oh, Grant Cardone, inspiration. It's like, dude, what? we don't do anything on our own. Nobody is inspired on their own. I might be motivated on my own, but I'm not inspired to do specific things until I watch somebody else do it. And so Grant Cardone was a thought leader and an activity leader, somebody that would go create things in our space. And he took being a, a salesperson, like a car salesperson, and go, how do I you know, make money in business, but then how do I then deviate that money into real estate? And now he's created a $6 billion portfolio in the matter of 12 years. Insane. Fourth of July is like 120 degrees. Today feels like 120, but it's only 110. It's blistering. So I download this app for traffic and conversions, which is a, a, an event I'm speaking at in San Diego in like two months. And I look through the app to look at the, who the speakers are, and I see myself next to Jerry Norton. Okay, Jerry Norton, another legend, somebody I look up to, he's a good, dear friend of mine. I would say he's probably my second best friend behind Jamil. And Jerry it says, you know, YouTuber, flipping genius, flipping mastery, right, is like how people deem him. People two years ago used to just call me the creative finance king or the king of creative finance or the sub two guy or the seller finance guy or the, the, the whatever. It was like very real estate centric. And what happened when we got the TV show is people started introducing me as Pace Morby, host of Triple Digit Flip on A&E. What are we doing for counter stuff? Not that. It's white. It's a green. I think you go, I think you, I think you go blue. When somebody says I'm inspired by you, the, what I hear is I hear that person showed me what's possible and they gave me permission to go and do the same thing. And what I love about all the content he lays out is that he shows you how to actually do it and you get to kind of watch his rise, his progression, his failures, his mistakes, his triumphs, all of those. There's just so much money out there. You just gotta be around the right people. And two weeks ago, in the midst of all of this, Grant and a whole bunch of our friends that are like the top 20 most influential people in real estate were 
invited to Grant Cardone's actual office where we spent three days masterminding together. Now masterminding is like, here's what a mastermind is. It's sharing successful and unsuccessful business practices at a very high level. So one person in the room is like, I'm making a million dollars a month and these are my current struggles. And for somebody else not making a million dollars a month, which has got a lot, a lot of people in that room, they were like, oh, wow, so you're dealing with that at that level. Well, here's what I'm currently dealing with. And the person at that level goes, oh, I dealt with that three years ago. Here's how you get past that. And here's how you grow. And those masterminds are worth millions and millions of dollars just getting invited into the room. This was the first mastermind I've ever been invited to that didn't charge money. Every other mastermind charges money. And I would have paid a million dollars to be in that room. It was that valuable, absolutely that valuable. Okay, thank you guys, appreciate it. Thank you very much, we'll see you in the office. That's how fast Grant comes in, he's like, all right, let's go. Uh, no. Grant awesome. keeps the pace. That, that was great. Yeah, it was. I'm sweating there. You got it. You got it. Guys, thank you very much. Ask this guy, what, what does he think about filming Grant Cardone? To next, baby. That's a billionaire. All day. A billion dollars. A beautiful man. Just like this guy. His his watch alone is like a $400,000 watch. Want to keep it or it's get it back? Oh, you should be a rapper. You're, you're my app. Yeah. I mean, if you'll let me sell it. Yeah. Uh, hey, will you turn it off? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Can, it, can I get a credit on uh, the show? I think so. I think if you ask them, they would give you one. What would I be called? The PA? Audio. Yeah, just audio. Audio? Yeah, all right. I'm on the audio team. They were great. They literally filmed that whole scene in less than 30 minutes. Usually we're on set for A&E for like an hour, two hours for the same exact thing to accomplish the same thing. That was fun. It's The more time you can get around them, the better. I mean, it's going to be one of the cooler houses we do. Ooh, hey, Shelly or whoever, is somebody in charge of these keys? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm hands off. Yeah, okay. Anytime I touch a key, somebody blames me. For something. It's all Casey's fault. Doing a meetup is always nerve wracking. You always wanna have a good turnout. You know, you have Grant and Elena are coming into town. You want people freaking coming. You really want a good turnout. Jamil and I traveled the country for a really long time doing meetups and our first meetup we ever did had five people there and now we go do meetups and we speak at events with thousands of people and it's just crazy how that changes so you want people to remember coming to your event you want it to be packed like crazy like the, they want to you want people to feel like they're the Beatles and then you also want your guests the people that are coming to feel like they're seeing the Beatles and so we only had like one day to promote this and get people planned to come out. So we'll see what happens tonight. I hope we have a good turnout. You think I need new teeth? You don't think so? No. These two teeth are made out of like 80% glue. Like not veneer, glue. Like literally composite, like epoxy. When I was eight years old, my parents didn't have any money. And so the dentist was like, oh, for a hundred bucks, I'll just put a composite there. And damn, he did a good job because 31 years later, that composite's still in, on my teeth. That's crazy. I've even had two sets of braces on these composites. Like, you can very visibly see how small my little real teeth are through the x-ray. And then the dentist, whoever does the x-ray, is like, damn! So, thinking about getting those replaced with, like, real veneers. I think it's just a mental thing of, like, if I was riding BMX and my grip was made out of duct tape, and my hand, you know, my handles made out of duct tape, and all somebody did is like go on the non-sticky side of duct tape, and it's like, yeah, it works, it's fine. Wouldn't you be like in your mind going, yeah. it'd be better just to spend a little bit of money. Appreciate you guys. See you, man. Love watching you guys crush it. I think Grant Cardone's coming too. Oh, is he? We were just on set with him, and I, he's driving with her, so. We'll see. How was he in person? Was he wild? I spent three days with him in Miami two weeks ago, and it was like, it is the opposite of what you would think. Really? really? You have to understand he's a great marketer. Outstanding. Right? Like, you guys, you see what happens with personal branding. Like, you stay on top of it. You show people what you're doing, and people want to do business with you. So he just learned how to get people's attention at a really early age. And so when you're behind closed doors, you're like, holy crap. This guy's like, he's calm, he's gentle, he's sweet, and... Um, very strategic in what he talks about. We have a special guest in the house, Grant Cardone! 
When somebody sends me a text message and says, hey, Pace, can I get five minutes of your time? What do you think that really means? We get on a phone call, how long do you think the call went? An hour. Two hours, it went two hours. Damn. That's what happened, I mean, how would you talk through anything in five minutes, it's hard. I, I don't know what a caduceary is. What'd you call that thing? Jacuterie. Jacuterie. I said, I ain't eating that shit. I can't pronounce it, I ain't gonna eat it. Um, yeah, hey, good to see you guys here. How many of you in real estate? Great, okay. How many of you got a team around you that you're like, I can depend on my team, I know we're gonna win? Be honest. Okay, how many of you got a team around you, you know you're gonna win, and you know you're gonna win at 10X levels? Okay, because that's what you need. To win, you gotta be around winners, folks. Just can't be around everybody can't be around everybody this world will give you all the choices you want most people unfortunately don't make the right choices they just settle for whatever the whatever kind of comes across whatever just shows up in the sewer that's family friends you got to go out on this planet there's eight billion people find a team that can win you got to pick like this girl wins right here okay she wins and she wins easier because she win a winner so I win. I got, got me. I will freaking. I'll go through walls, but glass, uh, jump off the building to win. Whatever it takes. Why? Because I want my family to win. I want my kids to see a winner. I don't want them to see a father. Anybody can be a father. That's the easy part. The easy part, man. Winning as a father is the hard part. Okay. And then winning in a marriage is a hard part. Winning as a as a, a female is even harder than winning as a man on this planet. You ladies in the room, man. You got a lot of. A lot of those, you got probably 30 cards against you right there. You're working with less of a deck than I am, just the way this planet operates, okay? If you got color on your skin, it gets even harder. Brown and black gets tougher. It's just real. You got to get on a winning team, folks. Okay, you got to put all your biases aside, and you got to find out who is going to jump off of buildings, go through walls, and walk on glass. Because success is important. In my house, success is our duty. It is our obligation and our responsibility. It's not an option. It ain't playtime, okay? It's not like, okay, I can have it or not have it. I demand it. How many of you demand it? Yeah. Find a team that'll support you seven days a week, 365 days a year, 24 seven through Christmas, Memorial Day, Labor Day, all the days you take off Saturdays and Sundays. We work seven days a week, okay? And some of you say, oh, I gotta take off God's day. God said, you ain't done nothing yet. God did everything before he took a day off created the heavens, the earth, the rivers, the oceans, the mountains, the butterflies, and then said, I'm going to kick it. Some of you taking off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday ain't done nothing. <laughs> That's arrogant, man. You're acting like a god. You ain't a god yet until you take care of your family. Everybody agree? Yeah. So get on a winning team. Welcome to one-third of my day. I hope you had a great time. We accomplish a lot, we have a lot of fun, and we get to hang out with cool people. We'll see you in the next one.